Hello, it's Miss Allison from Reading Corner Online. Welcome. We're at school. <laughs> Look at what belongs in school. I'm asking a question. Do you know what belongs in school? Are you at school right now? Maybe. We are at Reading Corner. All right, so I have some pictures that you should cut out and we're gonna help each other. What belongs in school? Okay, you ready? All right, I have a tractor or some glue. What do you think? Do you, do you drive your tractors to school? Mm, nope. Do you use glue at school? at school? Yes, we do. We use lots of glue and we like to squeeze them, squeeze it out a lot. So I'm gonna put it at my schoolhouse right here. All right. I got another one. Ready? Do you use crayons in school? Or do you sleep in your bed when you come to school? <laughs> I Maybe I want to take a nap, but we use crayons. So we want to put this in our school. Throw the bed, the bed's later when you, after you've worked so hard all day at school. So we want to throw that away. All right, how about some scissors? Do you use scissors at school? I do. So, all right, put it right in the school. Last one. <gasps> this is my favorite, because we're called the Reading Corner, and these are books, and this is something you read. We definitely see that in school. I hope you read a lot of books. All right, there's actually more pictures you can put, but do them later, do it for homework. I bet you you can. You can do it with your mom, your dad, or your grandpa. Do it. So, all right, before I leave, let's do a cheer. It's one of my favorites. It's called the trucker cheer, okay? Now, I like to drive those big trucks with the big wheels, but we need to put our seatbelt on. Let's practice. Put your seatbelt on. Now, it's the big trucks with the big wheels, and we drive it just like this. Now, when you're driving these big trucks, they have horns and it's like located here. So you're gonna take your horn and you're gonna go, er, er, and keep on driving your truck. Now there's these other things called, when you're a trucker, called a CB radio. And that's how they talk to each other. So you're gonna take your CB radio right here and you're gonna say, good job, good buddy. <laughs> it's really funny. Let's try that again. Put your seatbelt on, zoop. Drive your truck, Honk your horn, honk, honk. Keep on driving. Now get your CB radios out and say, good job, good buddy. <laughs> and that's what you did. You guys did really great on this activity. Thanks for learning with me. See you later. Hi there, it's Miss Kay from the Reading Corner Online. Look what I have. I have this cool activity. At the top it says phonemic awareness. What we're gonna work on is compound words. What are compound words? Compound words are two words that you put together. Let me show you. Okay, so did you see these really cool pictures? They're awesome. So we're gonna start with, I don't know, maybe we should start here. Ooh, look at that. Now, I had to think about this one for a little bit. I'm gonna say the two words and see if you can put it together. Arm, chair. Did you say armchair? That's right. Arm, chair, together, armchair. Good job. All right, I have these stickies just to let us know which one we did. All right, now, oh, we're going on a trip. What are we gonna take? A suitcase. Did you say suitcase? That's so good. Kiss your brain, kiss your hand. Put it up on top, good job. All right, suit, case, suitcase, you got it. Now, ooh, this one makes noises when you hear it coming down the street. It's a fire truck. Did you say fire truck? I have the smartest kids on here, my goodness. Fire truck, fire truck, good job. All right, I think I'll probably, I can do two more. 
and then I'm gonna let you do the rest at home. This is, oh, be careful on this. Make sure you have on your helmet and your pads. It's a skate board. Is <laughs> it's a skateboard. Have you ever ridden a skateboard? You gotta be careful, I know that. Skate, board, skateboard. All right, this is the last one Miss Kay's gonna do with you. Then we're gonna do a cheer. Ooh, do you know what it is? I held up my thumb because if you look really close at your thumb, you can see that you have a finger print. This is a finger print. Put it together and it's a fingerprint. That's right, everybody has their own special fingerprint. If you look really close at your thumb, that's what that is. Finger print, fingerprint. Now, I, I have a couple that are not here. We're just gonna do it real quick. How about um, my birthday is in August. Birth day, put it together and it's birthday. Miss Kay's birthday is in August. Um, and this is something you eat in the summer. It's a water melon. Put it together, what is it? Watermelon, do you like watermelon? I think it's so beautiful. It is one beautiful fruit. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do with, for compound words right now. You can finish these with mom or dad or your brother or sister at home. I wanna do a cheer before I let you go. All right, this is a roller coaster. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? Sometimes they get in my belly. So what are you doing? We put on our seatbelt? Maybe two. Okay, here it goes. Your hands go like this. We're gonna go up the roller coaster. Don't be scared, we'll go together. job. All right, one more time. You ready? Seatbelts. Two seatbelts to be safe. Here we go. Oh, did that get your belly? Those roller coasters always get in my belly. All right, that's it. See you later. Hello, it's Miss Allison from Reading Corner Online. We're here to do another activity. Dun, 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 it's gonna be awesome. Let's be superheroes, okay? Put our superhero masks on. You can either do this and make a mask like this, or if you wanna get fancy, look it, you're like a superhero because we're gonna, we're gonna be like superheroes because we're gonna do this activity together. I love that. So, remember when you ever see this line with your name? It says the word name. Name on your paper, first thing. So I would write Miss Allison. Would you write Miss Allison? No, because it's not your name. You write it right there. So, and if you can't, then maybe your mom and dad can help you. So we're doing patterns. I love patterns. We're doing A, B patterns. Now, this pattern is green, red. Green, red. Now, get your colored uh, pencils or markers out because we're really going to need them. So we need a green and we need a red for this one. Okay, so get them out. Now, this is what I use to kind of get that connection, okay? How do you know it's an AB pattern? Is it's, We're using two different colors. Ready? I like to do A, B. Ready? A. B. Now I'm going to keep it going here. A, B. And you're going to keep it going. Now, this is where it gets mind blowing. Are you ready? Do your mind blowing. Now, all the A's are going to be what color? Look at it. Did you say green? Yeah, yeah. And all the B's are what color? It's gonna be red. Woo -hoo -hoo, isn't that awesome? So that's why they call it an AB pattern. So, what did we say the A's were gonna be? Green. So get your green markers out. 
Oh, I got like a skinny one. Woohoo. Okay, so green, red, green, red, green. What's next? You got it, it's red. So here we go. Oh, our next one is A. What did we say that was again? Yeah, it's green. I think the next one is green again. What do you think? No, because it's the letter B. And what is our letter B's? Red. So here we go. Now, you can keep on going in this one, but patterns just keep on going and going and going. They never stop. So let's get to the next one because it's really exciting. It's one of my two, my two favorite colors. Blue, pink, blue, pink. Remember, let's that connection that Miss Allison just wrote. This is how we're doing. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. All right, this is when it gets super awesome. I have my pink one and on my blue. I always like to do the two dance. Do, 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 do. Now, what would be our first color? Let's go back. Blue, pink, blue, pink. So what was the A's? Hmm, did you say blue? You got it. So, ooh, that's a nice blue. It came out awesome. All right, so what's the next one? Our letter B's in our A, B pattern. Yes, it's pink. So, another skinny marker. B. What comes next? Yeah, naturally it's blue. And then pink. Whew. This is really hard stuff. It's you really got to work at it. There's a lot, a lot of coloring and detail, and the, you got to keep on going with those patterns. Let's do that later, okay? You can keep that and do that later. And you don't have to be perfect with coloring too. We just want to make sure we're doing those A, B patterns. You know, um, let's see. I think I have another activity. Would you help me with another activity? So, like I said, with your paper at home, do it later, okay? You can, it takes a lot of time, and I want you to do your very best work. So, oh, we're doing bears now. Woohoo! So, I see two sentences. Now, I see a lot of different colored bears. It's like a rainbow of, ra of bears, I would even say. Let's, let's read the sentence. Ready? Get your pointers out. I see six bears. Oh my goodness. Do we see six bears? Let's count the bears just to see, make sure that this is true. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew, that's true. That is a true statement. So, I have all these colored bears. Let's match them. Let's match the colors. So, let's go. All right. Let's do our first one. I see a yellow bear. Is that yellow? No. No, it's orange. It's orange. Orange, you love me, right? They always say. So let's find, let's find the matching orange bear. Remember I said it was, no, it's not that. No. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Put it right there. All right, let's go to the next one. What color is this? It's green. No. no, it's purple. Silly. All right, let's try to find purple. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I saw it. I see it. See it. It's right there. Boom. Just like that. All right. I'm going to tell you something, a little secret, my favorite color. Ready? Ready? Here we go. My, it is my favorite color. It's yellow. I love yellow. Ooh. All right, just like that. Let's get 
to our next sentence. I'm really excited about it. So, all right, pointers, ready? I see five bears. All right, let's count the bears, make sure there, there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. It is. Do you notice about this one? Did you notice there's two green bears in this sentence? I like green, so let's let's try to find the two green bears. Ready? There's one, and there's two. Is that two green bears? Oh, no, it's red. Okay, so let's put one green bear, and then get that other green. Ready? Just like that. And let's find the other one. Oh, I found him. I found him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, boom, just like that. All right, let's do, let's do one more. All right, hmm, let's see. Oh, we found another purple bear. Oh, it's, it's a pretty color, I love that. Hmm. All right, let's, put, let's find that purple one. We can kind of make them dance, like we'll make them dance all the way over. Ever heard of the dancing bears? I have. Hmm. All right, there we go. Boom, just like that. All right, get your nails out and get your ha hammer and we say, nailed it. You guys are amazing. Thanks for learning with me. Hello there, I'm Ms. K with The Reading Corner Online. Look what I have today. It's a literacy story and there's some really cool sight words in this one. All right, so sight words are words that you use a lot. Here's one I wanna show you. Little, L-I-T-T-L-E. Now there's a movement for that. We say L-I-T-T-L-E, little. All right, and the other one I want you to look at is the opposite of little. It's big, B-I-G, big. The movement for that is B-I-G, big. So we have little and we have big. All right, let's start. We're gonna start reading over here. It says, a little, what is that? Well, I know what this word is because I look at the picture clue and it starts with a b sound. Sorry, b, that's right, it's a bunny. A little bunny. Now, did I read fast? No, I didn't. It's just three words and I read nice and slow. So that helps me know which word I'm on. And we have these cool black dots to put your finger. So you can do it. A little bunny. Yes, nice job. All right, so let's go on to our next one. And this next sentence, look, it's missing something. It's one of the sight words. It's either gonna be B-I-G, big, or L-I-T-T-L-E, little. Let's see, a hmm fox. Well, we're gonna take a, a hint from the first sentence and it's going to be the same word as this. That's right, it's little, L-I-T-T-L-E, little. I'm gonna put it right here, but did I say this word? I don't remember, but I'm gonna look at the picture clue. Hmm. It starts with a sound, it's the letter F. Look at the picture. Did you figure it out? It's a fox. Ooh, we don't get to say that word very much. A little fox. All right, one more on this side. And look, there's all the words are there. There's nothing missing. So let's take a quick look at the picture. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a lion, lion, that's right. So we're gonna point to the black dots and we're gonna read nice and slow. The first word is A. A, little, see, you're getting it. Start again. A, little, lion. Yes, nice job. All right, now I'm gonna let you do those at home. You finish that side at home. And let's move on to the B-I-G, big side. All right, now these animals must be big. 
Let's take, take a look. All right, it starts the same way. A, missing word. What's that? Oh my good golly, look at him. It's a hippo. What is that? It's a hippo. Now, the sight word that's missing is B-I-G, big. Oh, I've got a couple cut out. Does this say big or does this say big? This one, right? That's right. B-I-G, big. I'm going to put it right here. Now I can totally read the sentence. Ready? A, big, hippo. All right, let's move on to the next one. Whoa. Now, I look at this picture and then I look at this picture. They're the same word, but they have different pictures. This one was a little lion. This one is a B-I-G, big. Let's read it. A, big, lion. Yeah, he's big. Check him out. Wow, he is big and he is little. So now we know L-I-T-T-L-E, little, and we know big, B-I-G, big. Nice work. In fact, you're so incredible. I think, how about we do fireworks? You know what, fireworks are just one of my favorite things to do for a cheer. You put your hands together like namaste, and it's gonna go up, it goes psh, clap. Uh, isn't that so cool? Let's do red, white, and blue. Ready? Put them right here. Namaste. And it goes up. Psss, clap. Uh, isn't that so beautiful? You guys did good work. I'm proud of you. Nice job. See you later.